All right, let's go from ascending start. Full throttle, and here we go. That's not the fastest to 100 in the world, but it does get there. YouTube viewer. We're out on the Suzuki Bergman 200 today. A lot of people have been asking me uh, in the comments uh, what's this bike like out on the highway, out on a motorway, a freeway. Uh, so I thought I'd just do a quick video today to give you a little look as you saw just then we quickly sped up to a hundred kilometers an hour and it did it pretty well. So I'm sitting on the speed limit, 100 kilometers an hour right now, which is 60 miles an hour, and it's doing just fine. The only traffic going past us is those who are doing over the speed limit. So we'll do a couple of roll-ons as well, and I'll take off from an intersection just to give you a little bit of an idea of how it goes in different situations. Uh, the wind I'm getting is coming in from the side, but head-on, I'm hardly getting any, and that's because of that magnificent big tall windscreen there. It is fantastic at keeping off wind and rain, so I'm basically getting no turbulence or anything else. Whoa, and I've just found out, I took my eye off the speedo for a moment, and I was up over 110 k's an hour. So not only can it sit easily on 100 k's, it can accelerate quickly if you need to go past someone or get yourself out of trouble. No problem getting up to 120, 130, so around 70, 75 miles an hour. So when I say 110, 120, 130, I'm talking kilometres, of course. So let's do a little walk around on my videos in the comments. I often get people say, uh, why didn't you do a walk around? So every time I go out on the bike now, I do a walk around and give you a look at the vehicle. Now, if I put the side stand down, the bike will switch itself off being a scooter. So I'll put her up on the, uh, the center stand and it'll give you an idea of how easy that is as well. All right, so I'll just pop off. Just parked here outside Silo's estate entrance. There we go, easy as that. So there she is, the Suzuki Bergman 200. So in terms of scooter, in terms of size, it's quite large, but it doesn't feel huge. In fact, in terms of physical size, that is, for a 200cc scooter. It's got a fair bit of weight, very much down low, and so it sits on the road and handles really well because of that. There it is from the front. Definitely not an ugly looking bike at all. It's it, uh, very similar in size to the Bergman 400. Uh, you get up to the 650, it gets a bit larger. And that seat is just so plush, so huge. Um, this is actually Berg, um, Riding Hood's bike, and she absolutely loves that seat. Um, the comfort and everything else. I find it a bit uncomfortable, and I think it's mainly because I'm sitting forward so far, and I don't like being bunched up, um, holding the handlebars sort of bunched up like this, and the rear view mirrors being right very close to me. I don't really like that. It's also got plenty of storage, so you've got this big area here, glove box that pops out, it's locked at the moment so I can't, then there's another storage area in there with a USB connector, so you can charge your phone and sit it in there as well. Uh, apart from that, uh, fairly standard controls, disc brakes on the front and rear, which is, uh, aids the safety on the highway, and then the clocks are very easy to see, the old fashioned style proper clocks. Uh, with uh, LCD in between. Very easy to see your mile an hour, kilometres per hour, your revs per minute, and then you've got time uh, below that, uh, your distance, 
and then below that a fuel gauge and uh, then we also shows how much fuel economy and it has a light that uh, flashes on a green light that tells you when you're riding economically then the other side switch gear is fairly standard as well easy to use um, so storage it's also always worth mentioning the storage on this because it is huge I'm just going to turn the bike off for a second click the uh, boot in there at the moment is a quite a large helmet it's uh, an open face helmet but it's got a screen that comes down and also a visor so it's as big as a full face helmet so if you have a look there's still heaps of room in there for luggage it's probably one of the biggest under seat storages I've ever seen on a bike and if you had a top box on this just uh, up the back here with that it would carry more luggage than um, it would carry more luggage than my big adventure bike with the three big pennies on the back it's just uh, amazing from that point of view and there's no reason you couldn't tour on this bike I think I would find it a little bit uncomfortable in that little bit uncomfortable in that forward seating position but the other thing you've got here and uh, if you've got a pillion they do sit very high got good handrails there grab rails um, and great foot accommodation so their feet sit there uh, when I'm riding it um, this is like a floorboard here for your feet but you can also stick your feet up there and stretch them out a little bit if I'm going over a distance before of course I find it a bit crammed up sometimes I'll sit back up here and stretch my arms out and then stretch my legs right out so you do have all those options there as well so to answer the question, out on the open road, out on a highway, a freeway, a motorway, easily sits on 110, 120, 130 k's an hour, with room to accelerate beyond that quickly if you need to. It is 200cc, single cylinder engine, so it's not going to have huge amounts of torque and uh, really go quickly, but it can get you out of trouble. And it can sit out on the open road very easily. So answering that question, yes, the Bergman 200 scooter is very good on a motorway, freeway, highway. Not as good as bigger bikes, obviously, with more power, cruise controls and all those sort of things, but pretty damn good for a 200cc scooter. No reason you can't do it. All right, so we'll do an acceleration here onto the highway again. Pretty good for traffic there, let's go. And here we go, up to 80, 90, 100 kilometers an hour and roll off. So sitting on 100 kilometers an hour at 7,000 revs per minute. You can probably hear the wind, but it is mostly coming from the side. Um, direct on, I'm not feeling any buffeting here at all. And in terms of sitting on the road, it is very planted. Accelerate from a stop start in a second. Whoa, some twisties! Woohoo! Heading for a, a big scooter, and it's a fair weight as well. It does turn quite well, does turn in quite well, but um, a lighter, smaller bike with um, different wheels is obviously going to be more flickable than this, like the CB125 that uh, riding hood's learning to ride gears on she finds it very easy to turn side from side flick into a corner and the same with my small scooter I use for riding around town which is a Suzuki Address 110 
and I guess the difference between that and this is uh, it, this has got a lot more weight so it sits much better on the highway the address 110 if you've got a headwind or any kind of hill getting above 90 is really hard and then you can't accelerate fast uh, to get around someone in a hurry or get yourself out of trouble if something's coming the other way where this does give you that capability so in terms of highway freeway motorway use this is probably about the smallest scooter the one some of the 150s can do it fairly well too uh, the nmax and some of those um, can accelerate up to 120 130 this one can probably do 140 150 k's probably around 90 miles an hour i guess all right let's go from a standing start full throttle and here we go so it's not the fastest to 100 in the world but it does get there and then if you need to accelerate past that just turn it a bit and you can get up to 110 120 quite quickly there you go so that's it. I hope that answers the questions of those people who have been asking that, what the Suzuki Bergman 200 is like out on a highway, a motorway, a freeway. The answer is, for a bike its size, very good. And if you wanted to tour on it with its storage space and the ability to put another big top box on the back on top of that, it can carry as much as any uh, touring, sports touring or adventure bike. Please like and subscribe and join me for future rides. I will do a full review on this bike very soon as well.